We are talking about exponential growth and decay functions, and we want to graph exponential functions. So here we have sketch the graph, and we have y equals negative 2 times 2 raised to the x minus 1, uh, minus 1. So in this case, we know a value is negative 2, so it's going to reflect our graph so it opens down. Uh, the b value is 2, so we know we have exponential growth. And the h value is negative 1, so we're actually going to shift to the right because we're substituting in a negative 1 for h. And the k value is equal to negative 1. And because the k value is equal to negative 1, that's going to tell us that our asymptote is equal y equals 1. So it's going to be y equals uh, 1. And so uh, y equals negative 1 because k is negative 1. And so we're going to graph the asymptote at y equals negative 1, which is right there. I'll write it over here, y equals negative 1. Now we want to substitute some values in to figure out what the graph actually looks like. And we really like having 0 in the exponent. And so in order to get 0 in the exponent, the first one that we will look at is we actually have to substitute in 1. So we're going to substitute 1 in for x. And so we get negative 2 times 2 raised to the 1 minus 1 minus 1. So we substitute in 1. And then we get uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, so I get negative 2 minus 1, that's equal to negative 3. So then we get the ordered pair 1, negative 3. So 1, negative 3 is right there. Then we can take a look at another example, and we can try uh, 0. That'll give us a negative exponent, and that usually helps out a little bit. So we get negative 2 times 2 raised to the 0 minus 1 minus 1. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and then uh, 2 to the negative 1, we use our negative exponent. And so we get negative 2 times 1 half minus 1. So negative 2 times uh, 1 half is negative 1 minus 1. So that's equal to negative 2. So we get the ordered pair 0, negative 2. So we're going to get one more point. So I'm going to pick 2. So we did 1, 0, and 2. So we can pick 2 there. And we're going to substitute in negative 2 times 2 raised to the second power. Minus 1, minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 to the first power is 2. So we get negative 2 times 2 minus 1. So that's four, negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. So we get the ordered pair 2, negative 5. So we go 2, and then we're going to negative 5 right there. So to get from the first point, we go over 1, down 1. Then we go over 2, down 2. Then we're going to have to go over excuse me, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 2, over 1, then it's going to go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then over 1, down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to be off. So we kept increasing over 1, down 1, over 1, down 2, over 1, down 4. So we keep doubling how far we go. 
And then this one going this way, we're going to go to half as we go as we get closer to that asymptote. Then we got to just sketch our graph that goes through those points. And then that's what our graph will look like.